I ain't made no real video and I don't know how long. <laughs> so, bear with me, bear with me. What's up, y'all? I am back. It's been a long time since I've been on YouTube. Um, but I've been doing everything being on my Zoom. So, yeah, if I sound a little stopped up, it's because I don't know if it's the, the weather. I don't know. But I'm, I'm a little stopped up, so that's that. But since the last time y'all have seen me, I don't know. I hadn't graduated yet. I hadn't none of that. I hadn't been to college. Yeah. So we got a lot of catching up to do. So we, we going to take this time to catch up. You know, just these last 12 months and really just, you know, talk about college. How college, you know, is for me where I'm at with it right now. Um. Really, just, we just want to catch up. We just want to sit back, catch up, enjoy the snow day. Because it's definitely snow. It's been snowing for the last 15 hours. Um, yeah, so we just want to catch up. So, these last 12 months have definitely been, you know, it's been interesting. It's been a lot of a lot of hurt, a lot of disappointment, if I'm just being completely honest. It's, it's been a lot, for sure. It's been a lot. Um, but I've learned a lot. I've gained a lot. I've been graced with so many different opportunities and i'm really just glad for it because like i don't think i would be able to be like who i am in this very moment if it wasn't for what i went on last year um but to start if we can just scroll back to january um it was my second semester of senior year and then it was well when i went on january didn't see much going on in January other than my second semester starting and then my granny turned 70. So shout out to her. She turned 70. Um February I won Coming Home King. I don't know why I'm nervous. <laughs> like I'm shaking. <laughs> at my high school oh i toured i think two colleges we made it to morehouse um the campus is pretty big i'm starting to feel a little nervous it's all kind of hitting me that i'm on my first college tour so I know it was Clark and Lena, Morehouse. <laughs> And they they were my two main choices, but I didn't even, and I ended up not going to either one. But we'll get to that as we go on down the line. Come around March, I don't know what compelled me to want to run track, but I thought that I was a track star. And <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Scoot over, baby. Scoot over, scoot over. I don't want your fingers to get crushed. This baby's running. Get your hands on my phone. Go, baby. Get your hands on my phone. I know you're not going to run like that. <laughs> Delusion. I, yesterday was, I said yesterday. Yes, last year. Not yesterday. We're not speaking that. Last year was my year delusion. And we're not going back. We can't do it. <laughs> Um, but I did run track. I think I did my first meet and then I quit for like two or three weeks. And then what happened after that? Then I came back and then it was like getting to the finals and state and all that. You know, I just wasn't qualified for all that. I don't even know what, 
I don't even know what compelled me to run track in the first place. <laughs> Help me understand what 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 made me want to run track in the first place. Who who who? <laughs> Delusion again. Um, April was kind of like wrapping up like the full. April was really like our full month of school. Um, I got my notes right here, so I'm trying to keep up, but I'm not trying to just you know read straight off of them. But cause y'all know ADHD. <laughs> For real. It's real. ADHD and them site, they go together. <laughs> but um April we went ice skating. I do remember that. Um we did like our senior week. Did we do senior weeks in that week? Or was that just outdoor adventure? I don't know. But we did no senior weeks in May. So yeah, we did um ice skating that week. I'll make sure I put some pictures in here. <laughs> um May was probably the biggest month because I literally went we had my last band banquet. Then a couple of days later it was prom. Um, Kira had general reveal at school for us. I pretty much kind of like talked to her into doing it because we need to know. It's a blue chocolate! And I love Kira to death, so that's my girl. Um, the in graduation. Good evening, class of 2023, faculty, staff, parents, and relatives. Today, it is with great respect, and it has truly been an honor to give a reflection on our high school experience. These last four years, I think most would agree, have not been easy, but today makes it all worth it. Coming into high school, we never imagined that four years would have come and gone this phase, and it's been proven that nothing or no one is stopping us. And do not forget, we are that class to be remembered. Later, it was a gradu my graduation party. But when I tell y'all, it was so many graduation parties going on, it was ridiculous. I'm like, it was two and three each day, and I literally didn't make it to a lot of them. Like, me and some of my closest friends had to have my graduation parties on the same day, so it was just June. I turned 18. Um, I really didn't do much for my birthday. Cause that was, June was, was really a rough month for me. Um, if I'm just being completely honest, like I lost some of my closest friends and it was just, then I was really, really stressed about college. And it was just like, at this time, I just felt like I was like, you know, I feel like I was in like a stripping stage, if I can say that. Like God was really just stripping me and opening my eyes to stuff that I just, you know, just wasn't necessarily right for me at the time, you know. Cause had I went to Atlanta for college, I definitely wouldn't have stayed probably a week. Um, but yeah, we gonna get into all of that later on. But yeah, June, and then my mama, she had her 50th birthday. Um, Cause me and her birthday were two, three, three days apart. I'm 16, she's 19. Um, July, I was just working. I was literally just working. Um, I don't think I did anything else. Um, August. Um, is when I kind of, we, oh, kind of, oh, what, what's going on? Do I need speech class? <laughs> Wait a minute. 
in July, going into August, I finally realized where I was going for college and I ended up at TSU. Um, so I had my freshman week, the first week of school. <laughs> when I decided to, you know, do something. Like, I just felt like I was going into a different chapter in my life. And I said, you know what? Let's cut this hair off for real. Like, let's let it go. And it's been cut off since August and it's it's definitely didn't grow. Like it's out here. Um I'm trying to find somebody to write because trying to figure this the like what am I doing with it? The afro. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah. I ended up at T issue. Um T issue was Going in, it was, I can say it was a cool experience. I definitely went in kind of like with a not so positive attitude about it. And I can say that's kind of why I had that. Mm. I don't really know if I can say that that's why my experience was the way it was. But I can say that I probably should have got more involved on campus. Um, and maybe that would have made my experience a little bit more better or, you know, happy or whatever, kind of had me more motivated. But, mm -mm, I just don't think so. The first week of, but, um, the week before we started class was freshman week. And when I tell y'all, I was outside every day for probably about eight days straight. Like, it was two and three events at, at a time, a day. And that's probably why a party won't ever see me again. Like maybe like a you know a little Airbnb or something like that, but a party at a venue probably won't see me again. I highly doubt it. We I think I really like burnt myself out, so it just now it's just like I'm so uninterested in going to a party because it's like they're gonna do the same stuff, play the same music, do the same stuff again. And then you start to see the same people and it's just like, it's the same vibes at every party. And it's just, I don't know, like, it's just, it's just pointless to me. And my thing is, I don't know, I guess cause I'm getting older, but what really got me is that you, um, hello? You telling me I gotta wait in line? First I gotta buy a ticket, which can range from 20 to $40. 50 depending on who's supposed to be performing. Then secondly, you telling me that I gotta wait in line probably for an hour, if not longer. Then when I get to the door, I may have to pay another something to get in because I'll oh, just cause I'm a boy. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Then we get in there, the prices are ridiculous. And I understand I gotta make the money their business. I'm not disrespecting that. But my money won't be getting spent. Mm, not doing it. So, um, so yeah, that that was the that was that first week. Um, September, I officially moved into camp into onto. I don't know what's going on here, but I officially moved onto campus in September, and I. Living on campus was definitely uh, a different sense of freedom. Like I was pretty much living on my own, um, but it came with a lot of responsibility too. And like to the incoming college students, like, you know, coming into the fall or whatever, I definitely recommend, you know, 
when you go onto campus, have fun, enjoy yourself, you know, live your life to the fullest. I definitely encourage that. But make sure your priorities are straight. Make sure your work is done. Like my cousin told me, um, Monday through Thursday, get your work done. So Friday, Saturday, Sunday, you got time to do as you please, you know. And, you know, you have time to live your life. And that way you're not stressing, you're not procrastinating, you know. And you still got your priorities straight and you still taking care of business. Yeah. Um, and I went to my first high school game as an alumni. <laughs> Sounded great, the dancers, you know, amazing. Our usual. We've made it to the game. And I thought it was gonna be embarrassing, like, not enough people here, but. Oh, we need to. It's a lot of people here, I guess. Hey, what you doing? I ain't know who this was with all this great hair. First homecoming as an actual teacher student because you know if you're from Nashville, homecoming that's just that's a national holiday for us. Everybody go to homecoming even if you don't go to TSU. You everybody goes to homecoming. Um, I went to the concerts. It was a gospel concert, a rap concert, and you know of course all the different parties and stuff that we went to. Um, the gospel concert was first. They always start with that. Oh, I feel the that's the word. Am I talking to anybody? Am I talking? Will I be all right down here? Leandria, that's my girl. That's that's cousin. We got the same last night. I love her. Um, and then. Uh, Homecoming concert, it was Money Back Yo, Cash Doll, K Carbon, um, um, Cash Doll, Boosie, Lil Tyler. I can't remember who else. But the concert was cool. Definitely ten out of ten. Me and my friends, you know, we look good anytime we stepped out. Per usual. Per usual. Me and my friends. Walk with the band in the parade. Um oh, You know, just trying to support them as much as I can. I've kind of started to be like, okay, you're you're there too much. You're you, you know, you graduated for a reason. <laughs> it's time to move on. And um, for my high school's um, homecoming, I went back. Y'all know I love being the jump manager. <laughs> I would go back and do it again if I could. I love the man. Uh, I started to, I don't know, homecoming was when I had, like, I don't know what it was about, like, the environment on campus. And this is just, I'm not going to say that this is going to be your experience because this was just me. Um, and again, I say, had I went in with a better attitude, you know, because I didn't, you know, when you don't want to go somewhere, your effort really don't be there. And when you really don't want to be somewhere, you know, you're not going to do no extra while you're there. And that's just kind of what it was. Um, so, 
started having thoughts about, you know, maybe I should move back home. Um, and my roommate, he was the coolest roommate I could have asked for. He was so considerate. Like, I like just like this man wouldn't even take a shower if he felt like it was too late. Like, and that's, that's the best I could ask for. But having somebody in your space, like 24 seven, that can become overwhelming. And then when you already dealing with like mental health issues, you know, already, that's, that can just be a recipe for disaster. I'm trying to get myself together. I need to lock in and truly just be by myself, really, you know, reevaluate what's going on, try to regroup, and then hit that restart button. That's my three R's that I go by. Reevaluate, regroup, and restart. Live by it, trust, it'll help. Um, but yeah, November, uh, November was a, was a tough month too. November, that's when I had my wreck. That was my first big wreck. I had like a little, you know, fender benders. <laughs> Um, I was doing Uber Eats because I wasn't really able to work. And that was another reason why I felt like it was just college was just too much. Cause I was trying to pay insurance. My insurance was $450 a month. Ridiculous. Insurance is a scam. That'll be another video for another time. But, um, you know, when you feeling pressure to do something or to be a certain, you know, person, that can really like that it can be a challenge and it can make your journey a whole lot harder than what it needs to be so you know that's just that my black man vent too shout out to them i am a brand ambassador for them um and they um the founders of the because it's a podcast and to pretty much describe it without you know being all day it's um a podcast based out of nashville um, it's a young man named Jonathan and his father, Leon, they, um, have pretty much created this movement of, have you heard a black man vent, a black man vent today? And pretty much just opening up a safe space for black men to be able to express their feelings and really just, you know, be able to talk because black men have been put in this box. Oh, you a man, you shouldn't be crying. You shouldn't be venting. You know, you got to provide for the family. You know, you got to be the strong one. This and the third. And it's a saying, check on your strong friends, but it needs to be check on the strong men because we go through just as much, if not more than these women out here. But we had a photo shoot um, for the brand. Um, Jonathan actually went to school, went to high school with my brother. Um, class of 2014 i think i believe if i'm not wrong class 2014 i know my brother graduated in 2014 i can't remember what year but they was at high school together that i do know um yeah the photo shoot went great everybody all the other brand ambassadors everybody so like genuine down to earth everybody was like a family filled thing um and my niece she celebrated her sixth birthday Y'all probably haven't seen her in a long time either. But yeah, um, now I went to the reunion tour concert. Um, the Clark sisters, Ty Tribute, Tamla Man, Kirk Franklin, and Israel. I hope I named everybody. Um, Y'all know I love the Clark Sisters. Probably my favorite gospel artist. Down pack. You know, I know all the songs. Um, and then my cousin Tanner, she had her birthday as well. Okay. This one not as lit as the last one. Yeah, huh? Y'all, my hair be looking at me from a distance, but it's really like, it's curls. Is there being a bad influence? I'm not trying to spend more time. Scared money don't make money. Spend it. We're spending. This ain't this ain't making up. <laughs> this kind of light too. Yeah, I smell it down there. Let me smell. Yeah. Disgusting. Oh. You like this pineapple? No, I said I said that's nice. It smells like. 
Like, yeah, just can't do it. Oh my gosh. For real. We're at the movie. He's about to see Renaissance. At the movie, it'd be so hurt because I left him and came with you. It's first the problem. Because <laughs> for the rest of the time we're gonna be, I'm gonna give you this right here. <laughs> yeah, um, December was pretty much a drama. We celebrated Christmas, and that was just that. But to backtrack, you know, with the whole mental health and college thing, um. Take care of yourself. I have been saying probably since seventh grade, I don't play about my mental health. Um, and with me not playing about it has not meant that it's been the best. Um, it's been times where I haven't, you know, I had to cut everybody out. Not nothing, you know, that was just indefinite, but it was just some time that I had to take, you know, for myself. Cause if you don't take that time for yourself to get you together and you a person like me, I'm a person where I'm, always available for somebody else and it's like not even just somebody else but for everybody whether it's family whether it's friends whether it's somebody i'm you know in a relationship with anybody i'm just always available in every aspect you know that i try to to be impossibly um and that can be draining because when you're always the one that's pouring out it's like okay when is somebody gonna pour back into me and then you pour into people and it's like you pouring into a sink with the faucet open and it's just what you pour into them it's just, just okay it's going now you know but it's just like you're not getting a return and this year i have been doing pretty good with not being so available like quit being so available to people that's never there for you like it's been many times where i've literally been on the verge of having anxiety attacks, been very depressed. Um, if I'm just being vulnerable, like, you know, I haven't been like suicidal to the point where it's like, you know, whatever, whatever, but I've been very depressed. You know, mental health has been down here. Like these last four or five months have probably been, you know, the, the worst of my life, if I can just be completely honest, but I just had to find my outlet, which is God. Um, I had to grow, grow closer to him and really just find myself again and just, you know, get it together. Like I just had to bring me, bring me back together. And um, yeah, I forgot to close out the vlog. How, I don't know, um, but my allergies bother me. I can see this eyes over here red, but um, thank y'all for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'm gonna be doing some stuff on my Instagram just to so y'all can tell me like what y'all wanna see, you know. Cause I got some stuff planned, but you know, I still want to cater to the audience and all that stuff. Um, but yeah, thank y'all for watching. Sorry for this video being a little lengthy. I usually try to keep stuff 10 or 15 minutes because you know, you got to keep your audience engaged. And you know, a 30 minute video and you really ain't there where you supposed to be at. Ain't nobody watching that, you know. But um, yeah, and if I'm going to leave y'all with anything, I'm just going to let y'all know. Whatever you got planned for this year, stick to your task. Perfect your craft. Um, stick to your plan. Like. Stay focused. This is the year of staying focused. We meet our goals. We're accomplishing everything we put our hearts and minds to. Um, keep God first. Keep praying. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Switches, I know what them foolish do. I'm a violin, me know what you want to do. Ain't no fun by yourself, bring a